zero another episode of Mr. That's right. It's uh it's been a while since we've done a J Man Mysteries where we explore the unexplained, the inexplicable, the strange and mysterious. And we have a kind of an obscure one, a pretty uh, even more obscure than usual. I mean, I think we we've done some pretty, pretty unknown unknowns. We have to tell. We want to cap. We did. We took a little family trip to a cabin in the woods to see if we could find the Bear King of Marble Falls. Mm-hmm. Which is a uh, kind of a local Texas uh, legend, and the the Bear King, uh, as the name suggests, is a half man, half bear creature. The the one big story about the bear man, or the the the, the tale that you that's oft most often repeated, is in uh, 1901. Um, a young woman was dragged away from her farm uh, by the bear man, and he, he took her into his cave, his awful smelling cave. This half bear, half man was not it's very, very uh, fragrant. Well, he was very fragrant in a bad way, I guess. He, his odoriferous emanations were not pleasant. Um, so she, she went with him, and she thought, oh, this guy's going to kill me. This creature is going to kill me. And he, he ended up falling asleep as she escaped um and then and then a bunch of hunters went to the cave to confront the bear man and i don't uh, i think the outcome is a little hazy i think he kind of it was kind of a draw maybe i think the bear man uh scared the hunters off with his his strength and his might and his roar which uh, his roar which they say kind of sounded like a panther <laughs> Now someone tried to investigate. Someone tried to really uh, do a do a studious look into this legend. And I think there was some some stuff that didn't add up. And I think uh, they had always said that the Bear Man was like a Native American legend. But the the person who really looked into it, or at least the one website I went to where someone claimed they like said that there was no, they couldn't, they never found a Native American legend that specifically corresponded to the Bear King of Marble Falls. Now, Jay, I said that when we, when we went to the cabin, we didn't, I, we didn't see anything mysterious, but maybe, maybe you did and you didn't mention it until now. Did you see anything weird at the cabin? Did you see the Bear Man or any strange cryptids? No. <laughs> you saw plenty of mosquitoes, though, right? So what do you think? Do you think the Bear Man... How, do you think the Bear Man sounds real? Do you think it sounds made up? I mean, Jay, you love the animal kingdom, and you're a big nature guy. You know, you love all the all the animals, and you're into science and the oceans. Do you do you think there's a possible there's a chance that stuff like the bear man, the bear king, and Bigfoot is are real? I have to investigate for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you're right. I guess. You know, we didn't do, we aren't, we weren't investigating that hard when we were at the cabin. Uh, maybe we were doing a little more relaxing. But so, do you want to go out, go out later and look for some footprints and try to do some bear king calls? Sometimes when you get mad at video games, it sounds like you're doing a bear king call. You're screaming like the bear king. If you believe, if a bear king. What does no? Yeah, and if you are the Bear King, and you'd like to apologize uh, for kidnapping that lady and taking her to your smelly cave, we would like to invite you to come on the J Man the Jokester channel and officially uh, own up to your crimes. You hear that a lot about these creatures that live in the woods, like, like Bigfoot and the Skunk Ape. They smell terrible. <laughs> Bye-bye, folks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>